So what's your name? Kendavi Bashara. How old are you? I'm 19 years old. What are you doing nowadays? I am a student athlete at Appalachian. Um, and I do a lot of work in the black community at App. How's that going? It's great. I'm currently president of the Black Student Association and the Black Student Athlete Association. Um, so it keeps me busy, definitely, but it's great work. I love it. So this whole concept is talking to a younger or older version of yourself. Um, which one are you going to talk to? Younger. What are you saying to the younger kind of you? Ooh, okay. I would say a couple things. I would say a lot. Um, okay, let's go through like age, I guess. So younger, younger kind of like, let's say like middle school. Um, I lived overseas, so I moved a lot. Um, I was born actually in Raleigh. I lived there for about 10 years and I moved to Saudi Arabia for four years. Um, so middle school-ish days I was in Saudi Arabia. And I would really tell myself like, you know, you're beautiful. Like don't only see what's around you as beautiful because growing up I was raised pretty much around white people most of my life. Um, no one incident like, you know, when people start dating people and like it's middle school, so everybody's like, oh, will you be my boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever? So like every all of my little like friends were getting asked that. And I was like, oh, like why? I asked one of my guy friends. I was like, well, why? Why isn't anyone asking me? You know, like and he was like, well, maybe, you know, if you went to a school with more people who look like you, alluding to the fact that I was black, um, more people would think you were pretty. I was like, oh, wow. And I took it to heart. I mean, like, looking back at me, I laugh about it. But, like, I took it to heart when it happened. And I think I held it with me longer than I realized. Um, just coming into the age that I am now and seeing my beauty within myself, um, inside and out, I don't think I realized how deep I took that. So, um and also like TV shows and stuff like, you know, watching Disney Channel, um, it was kind of like in between like after that so Raven. So there's not a lot of like um, black Disney Channel stars. It was like, you know, Gabrielle, I forgot her name, Vanessa Hudgens or whatever, um, Miley Cyrus, Demi Lovato. So, you know, you don't see when you don't see a lot of you in someone else and you see them as like, oh, they're beautiful and all this other stuff like and you start to think the opposite of yourself. So I would say um, just find yourself, be confident in yourself. And I feel like also, so past middle school age, probably like high school-ish, um, I was almost obsessed with like figuring out like who I was as if that was, there was like a definitive answer to that. Like, um, what are you interested in? Like, who are you really? Um, so I would tell myself, like, you know, you're always going to be looking for who you are. You're going to have certain principles and things um, that you hold to be true, but things change. So there's not like a solid answer for like, who are you, you know, like, and you're always going to be changing because you're always learning something new. So, and it wouldn't be good if you were still the same person that you were 15, 20, 25. Um, so just accepting who you are in that moment and knowing that, you know, you're beautiful, you're confident, like, and you can do anything you set your mind to. Um, now we're kind of in my high school era. I would say your value and validation doesn't reside in others and their opinions of you. Um, I grew up around a lot of, like, harsh, um, People, I don't know how to really put it. Uh, they just kind of said what's on their mind, you know, or if they're mad, they react in a certain way that's not the most productive. Um, so I feel like throughout my life, I seek that validation um, from other people because I felt like it was missing from home. Um, but your value 
is within yourself. So I would tell myself that if I, you know, could go back, you know, nobody else is going to make you worthy. You're worthy yourself. You don't need anyone else. Um, you don't need anyone else to tell you that you're worthy. You're on this planet. God put a spirit in your body. It's not for no reason. Um, and then along with looking for that validation, I did a lot. So I was like, you know, year around athlete, president of this club, um, great grades and did all this stuff. Um, in the moment and didn't seem like it was something looking for validation, but like reflecting being an older me, um, I could definitely say that some of the things I did weren't necessarily just for the sole purpose of me enjoying it and because it made me feel good. Some stuff may have been more driven for, you know, oh, look, I did this, this, and this, so I must be important. Or, hey, you know, parents, look, I did this, this, and this. Um, I think the best advice someone once gave me while I was going through that era that I didn't really listen because, you know, a hard head makes a soft behind. That's a whole nother thing. But um, they kind of said, you can be a jack of all trades, but a master of none. So, to this day, I still, you know, follow by that um, and don't go back to old habits. And the last lesson I'll, I'll say I really learned in high school was my senior year. Um, it was like second semester. It was like right after my 19th birthday. No, 18th birthday. Sorry. Um and I got something called Bell's Palsy. So that's pretty much like my, the right side of my face became paralyzed. Um, and it's one of the things that can come from is like just stressing way too much. Um, and I'm the type of person like, I try to be in control of everything around me. And I really had to learn from that situation, but also um, just other situations in life is like, the only thing that you can control is yourself and your own actions. You can't control how people react to that. You can't control other factors within your environment. Things are gonna happen the way God wants them to happen. And the only thing that you can control are your actions. Um, so definitely still trying to learn that and like really follow that wholeheartedly. But yeah, I would say, you know, don't stress, love yourself for who you are and that's all.